okay so by look of things we've done a uh, question four posted right here on our youtube channel we've done a uh, question five uh, posted on our youtube channel as well so now i want us to do to quickly look at question six and hence i've received uh, several questions that please can you uh, uh, solve this one question six of this previous question paper you understand so let me close and if i have not tick which means uh, we haven't done that one and like uh, question two you know question one is always a, a theory isn't it so question two and question three let me look question two which is this one i am not quite sure that we haven't done this one or we've done it i think we've done it you can just scroll down on our youtube channels to see whether it's there or not there so question three which is this one <coughs> question three which is this one and we haven't done it yet as well i think we are going to do it it's a sectional drawing you understand so we are going to do it as well it's just a matter of time so far. but now okay this one we've done it posted there you see i even wrote posted so we've done it posted today uh, on our youtube channel we've done this one we've done this one uh, interpenetration posted today on our youtube channel so now i want us to do question six <coughs> these are the figures for question six so this is the question so let's start so uh, uh, question six this is third angle orthographic projection so question six figure uh six on the following page shows two views of a what of a clamp link so this is the clamp link so if you have done your uh, fitting and matching into you'll understand what uh, what are they talking about when they are uh, talking about a uh, clamp link so so here we are asked to draw <coughs> to draw it so draw to a scale one to one in third angle orthographic projection the following views of views of that clamp link isn't it uh, so 6.1 draw an outside front view with hidden details yes yeah oh. please don't disturb me they are saying uh, draw an outside front view with hidden details in uh, with hidden details is shown so it's paying how much six months what the outside front view understand so the outside front view which is going to be this one understand so because if we are analyzing the views it's not standing like this you see the question paper is like this isn't it uh, but then the views that are given they are not like uh, this they're in a landscape so we analyze views using what this figure and this uh, projection symbol the much most important is what is the projection symbol so we analyze views using what this one so this is the third angle orthographic projection symbol that tells us what it is supposed to be your front view this is supposed to be what your 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 front your your right view your front view sorry your right view your front view so which means your top view is going to be on top of your what of your front view which means somewhere there so the question that say draw an outside front view with hidden details is shown so which means draw that front view the way you see it my brother uh, number two draw a sectional right a, a full not just a sectional a full sectional a uh, right view on a cutting plane pp you understand so you have to go there and trace the cutting plane you understand so now 6.3 draw a full sectional top view on the cutting plane aa six at any six dimension uh, three marks so 6.5 insert the third angle orthographic projection symbol central beneath the layout one mark late uh, uh layout and neatness line work and accuracy is seven marks so let's start using what a scale one is to one you understand so let's start so remember it's standing like this so now since uh, uh, this is third angle orthographic projection so i have to uh, uh, uh plan my work so i have to start uh, just a little bit bottom left hand corner of my drawing sheet 
you understand, of my drawing sheet somewhere there. So that I am going to have a space coming this side for my right view and a space going up for my top view. Remember, orthographic projection, so we don't just draw. So I'm going to just a little bit down, I'm going to start with the horizontal line, like this one. Faint, eh? And I draw a perpendicular against it. Faint like this. You understand? So from this corner going up, I am going to record a dimension this height. This side from there till there. I'm going to record that height. So 125, 125 millimeter, 110, this is 130, this is 120, this 120, this is 125, supposed to be right here, you understand, then I mark at zero, I can even throw. This is 120, isn't it? 125. So if I come to say 125 divided by 2, how much are you getting? I'm looking for the same uh, for the center now. Simplify height for the 62.5, isn't it? So 62.5. 62.5. Sixty-one, two point five is actually here. That's going to be my center. So I can uh, draw the what now? The horizontal center. And let's understand. <coughs> I'll draw it just a little bit long so that is also helping me there by my what my my right view you understand so from here again from the this corner coming this side i'm going to record the dimension of what of 80 millimeter you understand so that's the length of our front view so 80 millimeter there's my 80 i can even draw it dark what is the half of 80 is 40 if i am not mistakenly so this one from here to there is sweet one is this one from there till the heaven so now after that one I can I can can draw a, a horizontal a vertical center line and this one I'll draw it faint for now you understand so now from here till there is 125, isn't it? I draw a faint horizontal line. So now I can come back to have this one solid from here till there. All right. So now once I get there, I can come to say from here till there is what is 60 millimeter is behaving in the center. So I'm going to say from here till there is 30, from there till there is 30. Eh? So I can simply put my drawing a uh, 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 my 30 millimeter ruler at 30, which is the half of 60. So I mark at 60 and mark at zero. You understand? I want. So from there, I draw a faint line. So from now on, can you see this faint line? Let me try to draw the faint line using this one. Can you see them? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the faint line. So now, so from here to there is how much? From here to there is how much? Let's see, are we given? So it's supposed to be that dimension from there to there. So if it's not given, we are going to calculate it. 
we are going to calculate it so the dimension let me see from here to there is going to be this 24 isn't it so how about from here to there so okay wait for now we find that it's going to be this one it should be the cycle so for now let's leave it like this at this extent so now from there i'm going to record a dimension of what of 20 millimeter we separate our views with 20 millimeter so there is my 20. this one is disturbing Right guys, I've just learned that uh, this horizontal center line eh, is not in the center of 125. This horizontal line center is not in the center of 125. You understand? That is why in drawing you'll never say you know it up until you've done it. You understand? So uh, you won't be just looking through in your paper, your drawing sheet and be like, I know this one. I know this one, I know this one, up until you've done it, you understand. So I've just learned uh, this horizontal center is not in the center of what? Of this vertical, of this height of 125. So to prove that if uh, this is the front, this is the right, right? So this point is supposed to be in line with this one, isn't it? This point, this one, this point is supposed to be in line with this one. So if I put my, my ruler like this they're supposed to be in the same line like this you understand so it shows what this one when you are looking at this front view on your right hand side you're going to see something of this nature you understand so that bring us to what to remember of uh, i just uh, realized that when i'm i'm opening my drawing compass to 55 which is the set it's a radius of 55 isn't it so i open my drawing compass to 55 this is 55, not 54.9. So when I'm placing it on, you see that it was leaving a gap there. So now, which means I'll, after I've, I've opened my, 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 after I've separated my views with 20 millimeter away from each other. So I can come to this point, you understand, to this point, this one, this one, and mark 55 you understand so that's 55 then i can draw the horizontal the vertical center line you understand so now after i have drawn the the horizontal the vertical center line i am going to place my drawing compass open it to 55 along this vertical center line you understand what is my pencil lid is being uh, spotted or uh, placed at this point was i supposed to get an arc that was will, will start at this point you understand so what is i'm placing it along my pencil lid i'm directing it uh, i'm uh, directing it right from that point so like this so then i can place it and you see what is automatically co uh, coming toward to this point of my 20 so I can draw a duck. This is now correct. You understand? So this bottom part of it, I'm, I'm going to draw it faint. I'm going to draw it faint. You understand? So where were you placing the drum compass? Somewhere there, you give a mark. So then I can draw a proper correct horizontal center line. You understand then from there let me see this is the right this is the left what they said about your 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 what you call your your right view a full sectional right view on a cutting plane pp a full sectional because why am i going back so that as i'm drawing my right view i'll i, I have to see what or, or what uh, is this that uh, what is 
is, is some of the points that they will disappear, some of the lines that they will disappear, so that I don't even throw them. So on the PP, and the PP is situated there by your front view. Eh? So whatever that is beyond the cutting plane, we consider it as an off cut. So this is PP, isn't it? So this cutting plane of PP actually from this point, going down, going down, going down, going down till at this point, didn't cut it anything. So actually it's cut, it cut it from here till here. So, but did you hear the question said a full sectional? So it doesn't mean that everything is going to be in sectioning. You understand? So like as a, a, you can analyze the question and be like it's a full section. So this is only the part that is cut it, which is you're going to trace it, which means this front of view of ours is only this part that is going to be in section. Okay, so now uh, and we draw what is being pointed by an arrow, which is this one, the arrow PP. We draw what is being pointed by an arrow whatever that is beyond the cutting plane we do not even bother ourselves throwing it we consider it as an off cut isn't it so this one it will go with an off cut so this one it will remain so now what can be my next step now is to draw the oxy i mean the hexagon hexagon across the flat and we are given the dimension from here till there isn't it so they set dimension of 40 so you can simply put it at 20 then i mark at 40 and mark at zero then from there i can draw a, a faint diameter Foot, faint diameter foot. So now let me get the exit point. Exit point, even here. Yeah, so now we want to, to have a, a flat hexagon. If it's like this, it's across the flat, isn't it? But it's like this, a flat hexagon. So I take my drawing compass and put it here, further to the center. I strike an arc here, I strike an arc here. Come to this side, do the same thing, striking an arc here, strike an arc right there. Then from there, I can have this. Now from here to there, solid. And from here to right there, solid again. Then from here to here, solid. From here till the solid, from here to right the solid, from here to right the solid. Yeah. 